Earlier, I visited Vietnam and searched root and branch to discover how virgin coconut oil is extracted from the coconut. Sales of this oil are on the up back home, sizzling up a storm in health-conscious kitchens. But is coconut oil really the best one to cook with? To find out, I'm heading to the seaside to meet an expert and cook up something with a rather less healthy reputation. I brought a whole chip van. This is Rob. He owns the van. Rob's in charge of the fryers and he's about to get cooking. So we've got a load of sunflower oil, we've got vegetable oil and we've got a big vat of coconut oil. <laughs> Can we get them into your fryers? Let's give it a go. How on earth are you going to get that into there? With a bit of difficulty. Our expert, Professor Martin Grudfeld, has come from Leicester University for a day trip to the beach. Hello, Martin. Hello, how are you? What a day! His instructions were to buy refined versions of all the oils we're cooking with. But what's wrong with the virgin stuff I saw in Vietnam? The problem is that's not much good for cooking unless the cooking is done at a relatively low temperature because it has a low smoke point. And what is the definition of smoke point? Well, a smoke point is a temperature at which an oil starts to completely degrade and lots of toxic chemicals are actually released. The cheaper refined oils have been bleached and deodorised using a chemical process that makes them better to cook with at high temperatures. We should always go for the refined oils simply because they have a higher smoke point. I am very surprised by that because I'm going to think an extra virgin olive oil is going to be better for me. It is better for you if you don't cook with it. Let's get those chips on. Fire up those fryers. So which of the refined oils we're using is the healthiest and how does coconut oil fare? Certain types of oils oxidise very, very easily and they generate very, very toxic compounds known as aldehydes. And so what are aldehydes? Aldehydes are a group of molecules which are extremely toxic. They've been implicated in many, many, many diseases such as cardiovascular diseases, they're pro-inflammatory, they are also carcinogenic as well. So you want to limit the amount of aldehydes in your system? You want to limit them as much as possible. So, are there any aldehydes hiding in these cooking oils? This one's vegetable oil. Martin's going to add oil to a special powder. This one's coconut oil. If aldehydes are present, the liquid will change colour. And this one is sunflower oil. OK, so how long do we have to wait for a reaction? About an hour or so. Oh, plenty of time for a portion of chips. After finishing off my chips and pinching a few of his... Help yourself. It's time to find out if any of our cooking oils contained any aldehydes. Oh, those are very different colours. First one we have here, you see that's the deepest colour. Uh-huh. And that's indicating there's more aldehydes generated in that from that particular oil. So which oil is this? That's sunflower oil. It's very high in aldehydes. Right, I'm gonna pop that down there next to my sunflower. This one here, you can see the colour is still reasonably intense, but it's less intense than the previous one. And that comes from the vegetable oil. So if you look at that next to the sunflower, it's not quite as red. No but it still contains lots of aldehydes. Finally! And finally, here's the coconut oil sample. And as you can see, there's little or no colour. Gosh! I mean, that is basically white. So are there any aldehydes in here at all? Little or none, yes. Really? Coconut oil that has been refined contains fewer aldehydes because it's rich in saturated fats, which are more stable at high temperatures. However, the NHS advice still states that we should choose oils high in unsaturated fats for cooking. Some of the vegetable oils we buy in the supermarket are great if we use them as salad dressing. They are certainly not good for cooking because of what happens to the molecules when we subject them to those very, very high temperatures. We ought to be using a variety of oils for different purposes. Absolutely. If you're cooking at high temperatures, go for a coconut oil. Mm -hmm. But if you're just going to use it cold, you know, make a salad dressing, put it on some leaves, well, you can kind of use anything. Coconut chips, anyone? Come on, come on, do you want one? He's been going for a chip all day. Come on, Neil, get us nice. it. <laughs> <laughs>